Hi there, my name is Oprah Koko, that Nanga Christian girl, and I'm me. <laughs> I'd like to encourage you to be you, and here's why and how. Imagine going to a music concert to see your all time favorite musician perform. I mean, it's going to be spectacular, more than you've ever imagined, like the the glamour. (laughs) And then two days later, you see like an upcoming artist trying to sound and perform like your fave. (laughs) Deep down, you you know that, you know, it's not going to be an absolute hit because, of course, you know, as a major stand that you are, Nobody can be like your fave, and that's on, period. <laughs> Did you know that that's the fact about life? Um, I read somewhere once that, you know, I've got to be me because every other person is taken. And that quote has just been profound. I know that even God feels the same way. You know, he's so desperately needs us to realize that we are beautifully and wonderfully made we're his work of art with no replica in sight we're unique and we owe it to ourselves to be our most authentic self here's why you need to choose you above all else well as i said before There truly is only one you in the nearly 8 billion people on the earth. And it's your God-given responsibility to make the most out of this amazing gift of life that you are. You need to choose yourself so that you can give yourself permission and the opportunity to nurture your gifts and talents for the greater good. You need to choose you to give yourself to growth you know, and give yourself a unique chance to live a life worth living. It's always good to start with the why. But now, it's time to get our hands dirty, implementing the how. So here's my how, using the authentic strategy. So A, acknowledge your unique qualities. You've got to discover those qualities quickly. You've got to embrace your individuality and acknowledge the beauty and the impact that you bring to your world. Next, you have to uncover your true self. You've got to be introduced to the you that God made you to be. Take time to explore self-discovery. Next, you might like to trust your instincts. You need to develop confidence in your intuitions as well as take initiatives when led. Even those that might go against conventional expectations. Yep. After that, I'd love that you honor your journey. Every grand journey starts with a single step. An ocean began as a drop of water. So acknowledge your experiences. And respect the path you've traveled. Embrace your imperfections. Perfection eludes us all. Your flaws, your pain, your shame. They hold stories. So embrace it. Make your mistakes a unique message. Navigate your own path. Truly, truly, conformity is a killer to individuality. Resist the urge. I mean, resist the pressure to join the crowd. Be your own crowd. Build your own path. Start your own path. Transform through challenges. Gold is refined through fire. So, your transformation would come from a time of trials. 
let your adversities turn into opportunities for you to grow for you to learn for you to evolve and for you to become integrate core values at the core you should have your values those deep set convictions and components that make you 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 need to discover and develop your values on the journey to becoming a better you and finally check in always it's important to always measure growth make it a routine to check in always learn from the lessons encourage others take a break or a breather and forge ahead once again I hope this video leads you to discovering a better you. In the comments, type your favorite love emoji. And of course, do not forget to subscribe and share with a friend or two.